Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video, and today I'm going to be talking about the Fate 20th Anniversary Showcase Celebration Campaign, which should be coming up very soon. It was announced during the live stream that they had for the Fate 20th Anniversary um, that took place in Hollywood, so let's go. This is specifically related also to the NA side of the game. JP, I don't think, got any news other than the fact that I think the... The streaming for the subbed version of uh, Strange Fake or Fake Strange, I'm not 100% sure which way it goes, um, is going to be happening on the 31st of December, making many people believe that that means it's very likely a character from there will be the New Year's unit, but that's all speculation and stuff I don't know about, but just to like, give you a heads up, and in general, I don't really talk about JP News in general, but if you somehow are watching me for that, there you go. You're one crumb over the, the last three years, and never again for another three years or so. But anyway, continuing on, um, here's the campaign details. Let's start. So to begin, this should be very simple and easy, because this is literally a video, and they were able to talk about the information very easily. On the first day, it will be on the 25th, which will start at midnight for me. I don't know when it starts for you, but that's when it would for me. Um on the 25th and that means that when you log in you'll get 10 same quartz and if you log in during the period of the 25th to the 4th of december at any point you'll get those 10 same quartz and then the, and speaking of login bonuses the accrued login bonus which is going to be for three days so on the first day it's 50 mana prisms on the second day it's 5 million qp and on the third day is a strange fake ce to commemorate the new anime that's literally coming out or has come out actually because that first episode is up in the dub uh, sub you have to wait just a little bit longer there'll be multiple banners for it and just to very quickly tell you about this right now of whether or not you should summon on them only if you are interested in the specific character that are on it otherwise you should really just be skipping these um, the one that is specific that I'll call to mind is this one she the, the dinosaur she does not get a lot of banners she has so far I think on JP Got in exactly three banners, and to be fair, one of them is coming for New Year's. Um, not sure if that one's still going to be happening. I'll assume it is. Maybe just slightly, sh but, it, but she might be safe just because that one has Benny Enma in it, and this one has Voyager, so different kind of banner. But my point stands, if you're someone who really likes her, you want to get her MP up, or you want to get more coins to get specifically um, a pen stuff then this is your best chance to kind of get it. Otherwise, your other best chance would be during New Year's, in which case you would likely already be kind of saving and thinking about that forward ahead of time anyway. So I don't know. Something to keep in mind. But the, for, the, for the rest of these, only if you really like the character. Like, if you're a big fan of Ishtar, then I guess go for it. Otherwise, you shouldn't be going for it just because there's a lot of good reruns coming up, and there are a lot of good units in general coming up. So you have to kind of pick and choose your battles. If you can fight these battles, then go for it. With that said, just to talk about the specific banners, on the first day of the campaign, which is going to be on the 25th, and this will last until the 26th, is going to be Saber and Emiya, um, Ishtar and Parvati, aka Rin and Sakura, Double Ilya, Summer One, and the Prisma One, and then on the 26th to the 28th is Semiramis and Amakasu, and in the middle of their banner... He's not really related to it, but something to make note of is that they did announce that they're going to be doing the Road to 7 Lost Belt 6 uh, Spotlight. So that means that he will be coming, which is going to be Muramasa. Uh, and funny enough, Muramasa fits actually extremely well with the Fate 20th Anniversary Showcase stuff. It's really funny when you look at these like first three, ba three banners up top. You go like, there's someone missing, and the reason they can't include him right away is because, you know, he's coming. He's showing up, don't worry. Same thing for Ku. Ku will be showing up a little bit later with Oberon uh, and stuff like that. But just to let you know. So yeah, this the specifically Semiramis and Amikasu will be from the 26th to the 28th. And then the Nero banner and the Tamamo banner will be from the 28th to the 30th. This... Nero banner, I had inc I had to re-record this video because I was like, oh my god, I have to get my shit straight. So originally, I thought that this banner wasn't happening, which was specifically a banner that was supposed to come with this Blu-ray uh, standard edition um, celebration, right? Because we already have these login CDs. There's no point for them to give us this banner because we already got Bride Nero. 
And so that means it's a bummer, but we're going to miss out on the four-star Nero, which really sucks because I remember talking to someone who said like that really is kind of sucky because I was really looking forward to summoning for more, either to get Nero or to get more copies of Nero. So it was unfortunate that they skipped that banner, but no, they kind of did that banner again. They just used the other Nero, which I'm going to say, why didn't they just put Caster Nero on that other banner then? Unless I'm misremembering stuff and Caster Nero was also on that, but I'm almost positive that it was just Bride. Why not? I guess to be fair, Bride is a little bit more synonymous with um, the Thanksgiving Day banner, but still very silly. It really made me think that, that we wouldn't get a banner featuring the four star Nero, but there will be one. So similar to Koyo Dinosaur over here. If you are specifically looking for Nero stuff, this would be your best bet, but unfortunately I think maybe some of the people who would have been interested in that have likely already used their same quartz, but we'll see. If, you, if you're if you one of those people, feel free to tell me. I would love to hear about it. Or you can complain to me about it just because say like, hey man, I need to get this off my chest because I'm really annoyed about this very specific thing that doesn't hurt the vast majority of people, but it specifically screwed me over. And from the 30th to the 2nd of December, it will be uh, Boy Arthur, aka Arthur Prototype, and Voyager and Koyo featured on here. And then from the 2nd all the way to the 4th, it's going to be a banner with Gilgamesh and Herc, Iskandar, and BB and Passion Lip. And those are the specific banners that will be up there. Like I said at the beginning, I already tell you how I feel about these specific banners and if you should be summoning or not. It all depends on how much you actually like about these characters. Some of these are very good, some of them others, but I don't think they really compare in terms of pure power compared to a lot of the big heavy hitters that are coming up a little bit later. Um, or in the case of some others, like obviously Gilgamesh is really good, but then if you're missing Koyan Skaya, Koyan Skaya is coming up. So it's a really, do you buy the cart or do you buy the horse first? Which one? Um, in some cases, I guess Gilgamesh is the horse, so you would prefer to have the horse. So, But it, it depends on the person, right? I guess at that point. Which one do you prefer and stuff like that. But anyway, those are the banners, and that's not it. There's a couple other stuff, not much more. Next is another banner, which is going to be the GSSR banner, which is another NA exclusive banner. If you want to participate in this specific banner, you had to have, for now, Masters and Masters playing through Part 1 the part two start dash guaranteed summon will become available for 30 days upon clearing part two prologue so you have to have to unlock this when you have to have beaten the part two prologue for masters who have already claimed it like cleared it like me start dash guaranteed summon starts 30 days from when you first log in after it is added the part two start dash guaranteed summon will disappear from the summon screen after you perform it or if 30 days pass without performing it and after it will become available to you, you'll be able to check for the time remaining until part two start dash guaranteed summon disappears from the saint summoning screen, whatever. And this is a permanent addition to it. You spend 12 paid saint quartz specifically um, to be able to summon on this banner. And there are 21 units on it. There's no guarantee that you'll get anyone specifically. So if you're looking, if you're looking at this banner and saying, Finally, my chance of getting Scotty. You have about as much chance of getting Scotty as literally any of the other units on here. So you cannot be summoning on this if you are looking for a specific unit. If you're look, if you, uh, this is basically, do you want an SSR? Yes, no. And then there you go. You give them total St. Quartz and then you get a unit. This will vary largely depending on if there's a unit you absolutely hate on here, which is basically the worst units like Sigurd and... I think they buffed Arthur, so he's not considered one of the worst ones on here. So basically, do you hate the idea of getting Sigurd so much so that you're like, I'm not going to pay the 12 quarts for them to give it. Or you have specifically a unit on here, like, I know someone who has an MP5 Summer Nero. Uh, MP6, actually. So they would be very annoyed if they got MP7. And let me tell you, Fago has a hilarious sense of humor. It will gladly give you that one. Um, but so for the most part, it's very easy to skip if you have, if you're maybe later into the game, like this might have come a little bit too late for a lot of the people who have already been playing a whole bunch. But if you're more like me and you're just like, yo, I'll pay them to all St. Quartz to get an SSR at those rates, that's crazy. Um, then yeah, this is great for me. 
Who, especially because I don't care which one of these I get. If I get an extra dupe copy of Scotty, then it is what it is. Also, that's like my worst chance here, but it's the chance of getting that specifically is 1 in 21. <laughs> Uh, and then I did just mention that sense of humor, so I feel like this actually is like a 50%, and then the other 50% is one of the other units, but, you know, whatever. I digress. And for newer players, it does make sense to kind of summon Pork, but only specifically if you're okay with the idea of spending 12 sync paid quartz. If you are not, then don't do it. Um, there are better paid banners to be summon to be paying money for compared to this one, and it's okay to kind of let this one go. If you're not feeling it, there's nothing wrong with that. I know it feels weird just because I think in general, especially if you've been playing Fate, uh, uh, Fate Grand Order a whole buttload, you feel the need to always summon if there's a GSSR. And I'm here to tell you, it's okay to not summon on all of them because we get so many now. We have, now that we get two with Destiny Summon and basically three a year, and I feel like the Destiny Summon ones and the other ones have better odds on who you're going to get for a specific case. Some of the ones like these only really benefit the people who are like, I don't care which one of these I get. There'll be a positive regardless of anything, and it'll be an increase of power whoever I get. And especially as I'm climbing through the early ranks, it'll really come in handy. But for people who have been playing the game for a while, like, you have to basically say to yourself, oh man, I'm really looking forward to using Moriarty again. If you end up getting them like you see the diminishing returns basically but i still think it's very cool for them to add this into it especially because now that means that there are two gssrs on na compared to j that jp does not have yet which they really should give them to them already it's very weird that they have not given it to them um i don't know why <laughs> i'm gonna be 100 real i don't know why <laughs> they really should give it to jp it's not like na gets uh a benefit from holding on to it compared to JP. We're two years apart. That's crazy. Um, but anyway. And the last thing to mention, just because it's a quick quality of life update, we're going to be able to get three command seals back again after every day. So they'll completely refresh, which will be very helpful if you're going through the story and you somehow are just like, you know what, whatever, man. I'm just going to get my NP and win this stupid fight already. Then you can use it for that. Um, and then wait a day and they all come back. If you're like me who occasionally screws up in farming and you're just like, Hey man, I'm just gonna fucking launch this Noble Phantasm because I really don't feel like not three turn in this. Then this really benefits the lazy people like that. So it's a nice quality of life update for sure. And yeah, that's basically everything. The only thing they, they then went back to talking about regular stuff. So that's all the things coming for this 20, 20th anniversary showcase. And this is going to be a very quick video, because that's the end of it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, especially because I know I'm very late on this, and there are likely others already talking about this. <laughs> but if you chose me specifically, I thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If there's anything that you want to maybe have me talk a little bit more in depth about the GSSR, maybe I can do something like that if you just want more opinions on all the other units. But I feel like I've said kind of my piece on it. But if some more people want more information on it, then feel free. And I will gladly sit down and talk for like the usually like the hour long it takes for me to talk about these many units in a game. But for the most part, I'll be working on other things that I need to get uh, for the game. And that is legitimately the end of the video now. This is the first time a video's ended before the song that plays in the background. <laughs> the when the moon's reaching out stars reaches the completion for it that's a new record until next time everyone you guys have a good day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out